Well, hello and uh, welcome to our midweek worship for this week. Uh, we've got a special event in church uh, this afternoon, this evening. That's right, this evening. Uh, and uh, so there won't be a, a sermon in today's service, just the opportunity to reflect on our own as we think about what the reading means to us. We imagine God's plan for us, our ideas of what a happy future looks like for us, for our family, for our community, for the world. It will bring success and joy, glory and praise. But will it? Often things turn upside down. We lose control. There are unexpected consequences. God invites us to learn to trust without clear seeing. Only later do we recognise God's goodness to us. Let's pray. Mysterious God, you love and hold the universe in being. You treasure each of us as a work of art, a sign of your presence. When we haven't a clue what you are doing, help us to trust you, knowing that you see the whole picture. Amen. Our first hymn is an old hymn uh, with a slightly modern uh, backing uh, and I'm sure you'll know it so do join in if you want to sing it or just do listen to it.
hear the story of good news as written by Luke. If you are faithful in little things, you will be faithful in large ones. But if you are dishonest in little things, you won't be honest with greater responsibilities. If you are untrustworthy about worldly wealth, who will trust you with the true riches of heaven? And if you are not faithful with other people's things, why should you be trusted with things of your own? No one can serve two masters, for you will hate one and love the other. You will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and be enslaved to money. The Pharisees, who dearly loved their money, heard all this and scoffed at him. Then he said to them, You like to appear righteous in public, but God knows your hearts. What this world honours is detestable in the sight of God. Until John the Baptist, the law of Moses and the messages of the prophets were your guides. But now the good news of the kingdom of God is preached and everyone is eager to get in. But that doesn't mean that the law has lost its force. It is easier for heaven and earth to disappear than for the smallest point of God's law to be overturned. We're going to have this song, The Lord's My Shepherd, as we reflect on that reading and as we reflect on our relationship with uh, Jesus. The Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want He makes me lie in pastures green He leads me by the still, still waters His goodness restores my soul and I will trust in you alone and I will trust in you alone for your endless mercy follows me will lead me home. He guides my ways in righteousness and he anoints my head with oil and my cup is joy, a feast on his pure delights, and I will trust, I will in trust. You.
disclose the purposes of the heart. Therefore, in the light of Christ, let us admit our failures and weaknesses. God of our days and of our nights, we are sorry for those moments when we see obstacles and you see stepping stones. Forgive, Forgive us and, and help us to change our, our perspective. perspective. We are sorry when we just see the years behind us and you see the years ahead. Forgive, Forgive us and, and help us to change our perspective. We are sorry for the times we put limits on what we feel is impossible and lose sight of the fact that you are the God of the impossible. Forgive, Forgive us and help, help us to change our perspective. We are sorry when we shrink the world to our size and lose sight of the vastness of, our, of your compassion. Forgive, Forgive us and help us to change our perspective. Amen. Amen. Faithful living God, from upside down to the right way up, you change, change our lives and our perspectives. perspectives. From being burdened by guilt to being freed by your grace, you change our lives and our perspectives. From the fear of death to the embracing of each moment, you change our lives and our perspectives. Amen. <coughs> we pray for the followers of Jesus Christ, for those who are imprisoned for their faith, for those who serve as missionaries, for teachers of the faith. May, May they, they know, know your strengthening. We pray for those who deny themselves to serve others, for those who work in hospitals and prisons, for those who are carers, for those who serve their communities as volunteers. May, May they, they know your strengthening. We pray for those who carry the weight of a cross, for the homeless and unemployed, for those who are ill or bereaved, for those who struggle with mental health. May, May they, they know, know your, your strengthening. We pray for ourselves as we follow Christ, for strength to overcome our struggles and failures, for our fears and worries, for those we love and those who love us. May we and they know your strengthening. And we pray together. Our Dad in heaven above, let everyone look up to you and the area where you are in charge grow. May what you want happen on earth as perfectly as it does in heaven. Please give to us what we need for today. Forgive us when we think or do wrong things. 
just as we don't hold it against those who hurt us. Guide us away from whatever we might want, but is unhelpful to us, and protect us from all that is nasty and destructive. For you are in charge of everything, you have the power to do it, and you are awesome. You always were, you are now, and always will be. Amen. Our final song is uh, 10,000 Reasons. I do join by singing or listening. Let's join in this final prayer together. 
loving God, thank you for the wonderful times when our hearts sing singing. Thank you also that you are with us in the difficult times when we are confused and don't understand. Help us to feel your presence at all times. Help us to hear your guidance and learn to trust you, knowing that good times will come again. Amen. Amen. And may your heart be at peace and your mind be at rest. May you be confident in who you are and share God's gifts of light, hope and grace with those you meet and those you pray for. And may the blessing of God fill your hearts with hope, this day and evermore. Amen.